I want to die unafraid at whatever age I die. This is my secret, a truth, a shape, a series of words that almost mean something when put together, but which could be misunderstood. I long for the old stories, the slithering things, the damn cracking bricks, the laugh of someone who is not there. The old staircase descending into shadows. The things born in goblin gardens and mud. The dark rivers drowning. The ancient older than man moonlight. And the awesome terrible fear of it which makes us realize the world is real. I am a man who lives with the very fear that makes us old. The drumbeat of time. What paradox is this? God make me understand myself. This we can begin with as well as in. This is my starting condition, the ghost of the human psyche of a man afraid of dying, afraid, but who wants to live, afraid of things in which he does not believe. Yet, I think I deserve no fear. This horrible sense of obligations, let me speak of horror stories. I am someone lament full of whispers and sound, full of doubts and the triple sweet taste of moments. I cannot think sometimes because I think too much. The whole world makes me feel, excites me, torments me, confuses me, speaks to me of silver and brown and white and green eyes, which are the dark eyes underneath. It fills me up with noise and static, and it expects me to make it rhyme. Let me tell you of my childhood. It was a happy childhood. It was amazing, the woods and sand and dirty creeks and insect clicks and prickly pear cacti flowing all under the cloud of stars and the Milky Way, which was resplendent all around, perfect and lonely. Tiresome. It was not who I am because there was never enough of me to clearly see myself in the bright night sky. My head exploded with infinite ideas of concepts. I was pretentious. I was the azalea who favored himself, a rose of weed in my own garden, growing breathes and sunlight into gone. I plucked myself and scattered to the wind. Let me tell you about my adulthood. I try to express myself in a way I don't think I can get outside, so I put on a mask, the less weird me, a man and a man's soliloquy. And I talk to people around me and ask them things, and I listen to their answers, unreasoning, spiderweb, ideas, narcissistic by way of poor syllogism. I don't know, but I guess that's okay. So let's talk about asphalt and the way it burns in the summertime and the way it burns in the wintertime. Let's talk about cars, which are just the sounds of the street filled with other lives, most of whom I can never meet. And let's talk about street lights, the way they flicker on gossamer wings to touch the sky, twinkle and shimmer, forget themselves, the things of a walk in a city limit, not unlike, not unlike walks through the trees, but different. What to talk about? Poetry in the waves, washing up, being, sleeping, thinking, dreaming, dying, coughing, knowing, remaining, smelling, tasting, eating, pouring, fearing, the way it flowed stream of consciousness, as if it was only an animal act instinctually, that possibly, just possibly, could mean something if we gave it half a chance. I stand on the stage and the lights look on me. There I am perfect, like a mannequin, like a mirror, like a pinprick, like a camera obscura, showing all the audience what they want, and I show myself to all of you. I show all of you to yourself, all of me. And it flows between us, like an exact precise rending of cloth from my mouth, disorganized disillusion, paper and bits of paper with ink and electrons. It travels like water over cracked sidewalks. Flows to where it wants to love. Flows to where it wants to move, flows to where it wants to shove, flows where it wants to exit stage left, enter man, eke homo, eke re. Even when it seems like the past should be obvious in the way I know it, in the way I name it, in the way I think it, in the way I sometimes feel as though it names a habit I form, have lost, contemplate, like all habits we contemplate, like all moments we dive inside and think about and dance without, thus we return to the dark and muddy river, all words and crumbling foreshadow. But I'm also hung from the almost morning age, summer sigh, dust, young leaves and needles, and thistle honeysuckle upon the scaffold of nearly evening. Young winter with old snow melting in the ice and everything is bright and treacherous as it flows down into the well, the deep light gravity well. Sinks down in some sunless sea on the edge of space, past the sirens of known things, floats up like dew, the flowing eternally, the autumn song.